Hi guys, so today I have this machine. Uh, it's a Craftsman and uh, here is the model number and stuff. And uh, you can see it's very dirty and uh, wasn't cutting properly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and uh, clean it pretty good. So to disassemble it, I'm just going to turn this, keep turning it. There you go. And you can see it's all lifted up. You can see so much gunk in there. So and it's nice and fresh because I just uh, used it. So you definitely want to clean it while it's nice and wet because uh, once it dries up, you can clean that at that time as also. So to remove this, all you have to do is just push it backwards and lift it. And if you can take a toothbrush and start cleaning this. And you really have to clean this part because if this is not dirty, this is your motor shaft, which makes the chain run. So if it's really dirty, that's not gonna work. So another thing is, there is a hole right here, which has a small piece of a sponge. And I think this is uh, where the oil seeps in and feed the chain. So you wanna make sure this part is clean because if this is not clean, uh, the oil is not coming in and it's not gonna uh, do a good job. I think the oil also comes in from here, but uh, you have to make sure you clean this piece right here, this part. So. I think I already cleaned this much, pretty much. Um, so when this is clean, you're gonna make sure that everything around here, just take a small um, screwdriver and um, clean up any dirt or debris that you have inside. Um, do a good job. You definitely wanna clean this piece as well. Make sure there's no debris inside. There's a small pinhole, which you wanna make sure it's not blocked uh, because that's where another place for the oil to seep in. So um, another piece you wanna make sure is this right here. You want to make sure there is this is clean there's no blockage on uh, from here and i think uh if you really look right here there is a hole kind of so you just want to make sure you poke in there clean up any debris uh, that might be stuck in there and try to like you know, juggle it out and if you have an air sprayer uh, that works out the best um i don't have one handy, so I'm just gonna clean up as good as I can to make sure this part is nice and clean. So once you have done a good job cleaning pretty much everything, um, now is the time to put the chain back. And uh, one of the common mistakes people make in chainsaw and then they complain it's not working is putting the chain backwards. So over here, you can see it tells you how the chain should go. So you have to match the same pattern uh, for the chain. But before that, you wanna make sure you put this uh, chain holder back in. And also on the chain holder, tells you how the chain should be going. And that should match your drawing on the, on the machine. So you wanna make sure you put it the right way. This is facing upwards, so Make sure you don't put it this way, put it the right way. Now there's this bolt that moves around, so that goes into the main bolt. And pretty much it goes in like this. You wanna make sure it's moving freely, so if you see any dirt or debris in here, you can clean that out as well. So I'm gonna put this right here, in like this, and uh, I'm gonna take my chain and put it in the right way. So, let me mash this. So I have to flip it around. Okay, so this is the right way of the chain going. Put the chain in. Make sure all the threads are in. And one thing you want to make sure is you don't 
tight the chain too much because there is supposed to be flexibility that's another common mistake people make is they tied it way too much and uh, there is no room for the chain to play so what end up happening is you're putting a lot of force on the on the motor and you end up burning the motor so not a good thing to do so that's another thing so now my chain is good another thing you want to do is make sure you clean the cover uh, if you clean that and if you don't clean the cover you're gonna waste your effort so uh, do a good job in cleaning some I'm gonna go ahead and clean this If you have any kind of cleaner you can clean this too this is a plastic piece so you technically you can wash it too i just don't want to wash it uh, it has some oil it's supposed to have some lubricant so i don't want to introduce water in it because i want to use it right away so just make sure you do a good job and you get inside and out okay so now it's nice and clean so now we're gonna put it together Gonna make sure you put it the right way this is the screw that goes in on top of the screw uh, then the nut that goes on top of the screw just put it align it and start screwing and you'll see the plastic just trying to settle down and now you're gonna lift up your blade and align it to make sure it goes in nice and easy and uh, don't worry about the tension on the chain because that is something you can adjust later on Another thing about these electric chainsaw is, uh, guys, you want to make sure you keep an eye on the level for the oil because if the oil is empty, uh, you're going to be in a big mess. So you definitely don't want the oil to go low. Okay, so. Okay, now we're at time check the tension but uh, when I adjust the tension it tells you on top it's hard to see right here how to chain check the tension and adjust the tension I'm sure uh, if you guys have this machine you know how to do that so I'm not gonna go into, into detail about that but uh, that's pretty much it guys just make sure your your oil level is good and you're good to put it to some work Hope this video helps. If you like the video, please subscribe and like.